Okay. So, uh, and then the top, the, the, the helix, the, the oracle, the edge of the ear is called the helix, and opposite the helix is the anti-helix, again, stupid name. Which was anti-helix? So it's the it's um, that inner ridge, that inner ridge, yeah, right? that flat part there, oh, the flat. and that represents the low back, legs, knees, and feet. So every part of the body is represented on the ear. So in 1960, um, Philippe Nogier, who was a French medical doctor in Marseille, got a lot of uh, uh, returning soldiers from the French Algerian War which politically correct we would call the Algerian War of Independence, which they lost. And so, as their doctor, he noticed they all had scars on the back of their ear. Mm. And he asked them, how did you get these scars? And they said, I had sciatic pain. Mm. And there was some guy in Algeria whose grandfather was Chinese, who cut me on the back of my ear or burned me on the back of my ear, and my sciatic pain went away. So he was intrigued by this. Flew to Algeria, tracked the guy down, and came up with this theory that there's an upside down fetus superimposed on the ear. And so he came out with his book in 1960. The Chinese saw it, flipped completely out. This is our medicine, this is our stuff, how dare you? And then in 1961, the People's Republic of China published their book. The difference between the two was minor. I mean, it was, I mean, he intuited correctly. There's mm. a few mm -hmm. distinct dis, dis, distinctions. That's mine. That's okay. that's no, that's I, no, that's. I yours. drink a lot. Yeah. Okay. So, long story short, the Europeans started the whole ear reflexology thing in the '60s. Mm -hmm. It didn't hit the United States until 1986. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Now it's a big thing. Now, of course, I got into it early back in the 80s uh, when I, right after I finished acupuncture school, we got into the ear reflexology. Mm -hmm. And the NADA protocol, the five points in the ear for drug addiction, mm -hmm. we then taught the patients how to massage their ears mm -hmm. after the 10 day treatment. Mm -hmm. And then I pioneered the weight loss treatment mm. at Lincoln for the nurses. Mm. And some wise visitor mm -hmm. picked up on it and went on television with ear clips mm. and made a million dollars mm. off of my research. Mm -hmm. And that taught me a valuable lesson. Mm -hmm. Lose lips, sink ships. Mm. <laughs> Keep it to yourself till you copyright it. Mm -hmm. So now all this information is copywritten. Mm -hmm. in, uh, two different books that I've written. So, the issue for us is how can we massage our ears fast, quick, and in a hurry on a daily basis and achieve the same benefits that an hour of needles uh, would achieve, mm -hmm. okay? So, so part one is creating the friction, generating the heat, and then we palm the ear. And it's about seven seconds. It's not a really long time. Then we do it again. And this time we fold the ear forward. We get the back of the ear. Because this is literally the way to touch the blood. pull the lobe down 30 times, down and away from the face. Now where the lobe attaches to the face is what we call the joy point. Now if you went to Catholic school and you were acting up in class, the, the nun would grab you by your ear. <laughs> <laughs> is that like the, you see depictions of the Buddha? That, like the face that is the absolutely correct. Okay, now we're going to go in and we're going to go forward 30 times to massage our heart and lungs. Where, where that's the hollow to? just above the, the bottom low. hollow. Then. The bottom hollow, right. And that's called the cavum conchi. Cavum conchi. Again, weird names. Cavum referring to cave and conch referring to conch shell. Hmm. Okay. 
Callum Conkey. Okay, then there's a little lip, and then the next hollow is called the Simba Conkey. Simba Conkey. Simba referring to symbols, <laughs> and all the internal organs. So your stomach, spleen, liver, gallbladder, kidney, small intestine, large intestine, stomach, all is in there. Okay, and we do that 30 times. Then there's another little lip, and then there's the pelvic cavity. So everything that's in your pelvis, except for your external genitalia, is in the, is there. We normally do this like 30 times. 30 times. Now, you grab the top of the ear, which is the allergy point, and now we're going to massage 10 times, and we're going to do the front and the back of the ear at the same time. And what is this ridge called? Um, it's oracle? it's called the, uh, the oracle. Uh, scaphoid fossa is the more proper name. Scaphoid fossa. Scaphoid fossa. Noisy. It's very noisy, and your ears should start to get hot. <laughs> so I timed this one time, and I can't remember the exact timing. Are but you it's going about, down to the lobes? You're going right down to the lobe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because mm -hmm. you've already done the lobe, so you don't have to do the lobe anymore. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your thumbs are going down or up? Down. You start at the top. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it says low battery. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. No, no. Oh, okay. I'm starting to get a little bit of a Okay, we, we got enough to, oh, yeah, we got enough got to finish bar. this part. Mm -hmm. to plug this now, in. we're gonna go 10 times up the back of the okay. ear. Now the top third of the back of the ear is the high blood pressure lowering groove. So if you have, a, if you have high blood pressure and you have a fingernail, a thumbnail, you can dig it into that top third or your uncle that has high blood pressure or your grandmother you can literally lower their blood pressure fast, quick, and in a hurry by doing this. Mm. Okay? Now, <clears throat> we're gonna go up the spine of the ear. So we're gonna start in the intertragic notch. We're gonna go up the spine of the ear and then to the anti-helix. Okay, so the intertragic notch, inner spine curve of the there. ear, and then this flat part is the uh, Anti-helix. Anti-helix. Here. So from here mm -hmm. inside to here. The, yes. So that those. So the anti-helix. So, so here's the triangle of fossa. Right. The anti-helix is next to it. Right. That ridge. Right. So this is actually called the helix, where it attaches to the face. Mm -hmm. So opposite the helix is called the anti-helix. Anti-helix. Okay. Again, these Latin German. It doesn't really make sense, but that's what they called it. Mm. All right. The Chinese names are even more confusing. So, <laughs> so we do that ten times, and then we pinch pull the tragus ten times. Uh, straight out or what straight out. Yeah. And the tragus is responsible for the adrenals, adrenal. the hunger, and thirst point. Hunger and thirst. Oh, I had a hair on mine. <laughs> yeah, you probably have a, a lot of hairs. I hope not. So the um, the uh, therapeutic uh, repertoire of this would be 100 to 300 times, but we're just doing a maintenance mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. But if you were a certified ear reflexologist, mm -hmm. then you'd have your patient, and they'd be face up and then you'd be massaging their ears at each point 100 mm. to 300 times, mm -hmm. okay? Now, so the next is the nose, okay? So we're gonna go across the bridge of the nose eight times. Then with the index finger, we're gonna find the hollow on the face next to the nasolabial fold and the middle finger halfway up the nose. These are the sinus points. And we're gonna do 16 circles to keep the sinuses open. Okay, can I? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mm. Right there. Mm. Am I in the right place? Probably not. <laughs> a hollow subtle, yeah? Ooh. Yeah. Mm, mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's going to hurt. I got it? Yeah, you have it, yeah. Feels like I have it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and then the middle finger halfway up. Now, the, the reason we do this daily is because the sinuses open and close. So your body naturally produces mucus mm. to trap and expel bacteria, virus, fungus, and parasites. Mm -hmm. So that mucus drains down the nose and then the air dries the mucus and then you have mm -hmm. boogers. Now, in an in a environment where there's dirt and dust and, and humidity and whatever, sometimes those sinus points close and the mucus doesn't drain out. And then that sets up an environment for bacteria, virus, and then it grows and now you have sinus pain and now you're taking cyanide and sinus medication over the counter and ugh, not good. Yeah, my sinus is closed when I go to sleep. Yes, they do because you're flat as opposed mm. to up. Mm. So gravity pulls it down, but then when you're flat, it goes up. So we're gonna ha I'm going to work with you on how to drain that so it doesn't bother you at night. Mm -hmm. Okay? So ears, no now throat. Now, there's a muscle here called the SCM, sternocleidomastoid mm. muscle, muscle, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what is next to that is the thyroid, mm -hmm. all right? So you're going to grab, no, do the opposite, because you want to dig your thumb in there, good morning, and you want to grab that muscle and pluck it. Now, this muscle is connected to the stomach meridian, mm -hmm. and this stomach muscle is used for chewing and swallowing. Mm -hmm because it attaches to the jaw. Mm -hmm. So sterno, sternal, mm -hmm. clido, mastoid. Oh, mastoid. Okay. It doesn't attach to the jaw. Big pardon? It doesn't attach to the jaw. It's okay. the mastoid to the clavicle and sternum, but close, but not the jaw. It's oh, behind on we're the We're getting rid Okay. Thank you for the clarification. Sorry. It's mastoid. That's the end because of Now, we're going to click the teeth 32 times. Why 32? Because you have 32 teeth in your head. <laughs> so each tooth is connected to an acupuncture meridian. And if you don't chew your food, then you don't generate enough chi to circulate. So it's very important to chew your food. Now, some people have an overbite. That mm -hmm. means the jaw is jammed up and the teeth can't connect in the front. Mm -hmm. Okay? Like now, me. So a small overbite is natural. A big overbite is not natural. Okay? So the way we do that is with the mastoid muscle. Mm -hmm. So we relax the mastoid Whoa. to allow the jaw to drop. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was saying it was connected to the jaw. So mastoid, wait, so you're going behind or? Behind the jaw, yeah. right. Uh -huh. So, like so if, you, if you get that mastoid muscle, the Whoa. jaw will literally drop. I mean, it may attach, but it's not a good thing. It's not supposed to be attached. Ah. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to work on you today, <laughs> and I'm going to work on you today. Mm. Okay. So that's ears, nose, throat. Now we're going to suck our teeth. So you're going to use the tongue. You're going to go outside the upper teeth, outside the lower teeth, inside the lower, and then inside the upper. Out, out, in, in. We're going to do that eight times. So is there like a clock or which way? Around though. Out, around the outside, around the in, outside, lower, and then inside, lower, inside, upper. Oh, so from our perspective, clockwise, outside, then inside. Outside, upper, outside, lower, inside, lower, inside, upper. Okay, but it doesn't matter if you start left or right, as long as you get it all. Saliva. Uh oh. Now, what is in the saliva? Homeopathy. 
enzymes, digestive enzymes, enzymes. amylase, amylase. amylase. Mm. So the Chinese said that is gold, that the saliva that's generated from exercise is like gold. From exercise. Mm. And they didn't know anything about enzymes, but they knew the benefit of swallowing the saliva would mm. enhance your digestion. Mm -hmm. okay. That's why you want to do this before you eat. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, minerals are unevenly divided in the soil. Mm -hmm. So just because you ate the vegetables doesn't mean you were going to get everything you're supposed to get. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to eat a variety mm -hmm. to make sure you get minerals. Now, mm -hmm. the Chinese didn't get enough calories because mm -hmm. only one-seventh of the land was actually farmable because most of China is mountains and rocky. Mm -hmm. So therefore, their, their issue was getting enough calories. So anything that depleted chi was not a good thing, all right? So, uh, eyes, ears, nose, throat, teeth, tongue, taste, okay? And because we used our fingers, we got the touch. So we've covered the five senses in that limbic system that we were talking about. Now, we're gonna do the temporal brush. And it's about 16 12 times. We don't, we don't literally count, but we just wanna increase blood flow and fluid into the temporal. Now the parietal is slightly backwards and we call that the parietal press. Now the parietal... This is some kind of truck. Yeah, just that, that little four-wheeler thing came, it's kind of smelly. Oh, oh, I see. It's all intelligence picking up on it. It's not, you know. Our, our nose is... Yeah, I had to walk away from this. I was trying to walk away from you. Half my brain just got distracted by it. I have a good one. So now, the, the, um, what is connected to the base of the skull. back of the skull? What all muscle? The, all the suboccipitals, like, uh, like, rect, let, rect, oh, trapezius. Trapezius and the... Uh, well, cervical cloudy mastering goes to the corner of the skull. Yeah. Right, okay. And all the underneath ones. And all the underneath ones. So when we do the parietal press, we're breaking up the stagnation that prevents the circulation. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's the parietal press. So we're just pressing? Yeah, yeah pressing you're kind of like thumb. pressing oh, up. With your... Yeah. Okay. Kind of pressing up. On the, uh, you're on the bony ridge or above it? Just above, above the occipital ridge. Oh, I, I, I was looking at this, like this ridge you were on, I thought. Oh, I see, okay. Up there. Gotcha. That's the parietal press. Mm -hmm. Then we do the pineal pump, uh, pineal mm -hmm. push, pineal push, push with the thumbs, mm -hmm. okay? So we do the pineal push because what we're pushing is cerebral spinal fluid. Mm. We're not really touching mm -hmm. the pineal at all. Mm -hmm. We're just pushing fluid that hopefully Ooh. will get to the pineal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then we do the pituitary pull. Now the pituitary sits in a little cup and there's fluid in that cup. Now when you put your thumbs on the temple, very interesting word, temple. Mm. When you put mm. your thumbs on the temple, you're pushing fluid that floods that cup. Oh. Okay? So when you're doing the pituitary press, you're not really touching the pituitary, but the fluid that's here, you're pressing it into the area of the temple, and then the temple, the thumb is pushing that fluid, which floods the pituitary. Mm. So it's like, that's why you're going to go on down through here and then back towards pituitary. Yeah. Okay, and we do that eight times. Okay? Now again, we're not touching pineal or pituitary, but we're pushing cerebrospinal fluid into them so that they can communicate with each other. Okay. Mm. Now, there is a cranial... I, I, got, I got high from that, yeah. Mm. So there's a cranial pump that manufactures the cerebral spinal fluid. There's also a vein that takes, that absorbs the used, the dirty, cerebral spinal fluid and puts it into the bloodstream. Okay? So the cerebral spinal fluid goes down to the sacral pump, sacral pump pumps it back up, 
and then as it comes up to the top, then the cerebral spinal fluid enters that vein. Mm. So we're gonna press apart, so the, 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 the suture, sagittal suture, mm. we're gonna pull that apart, okay? And that is the two hemispheres of the brain that we were talking uh, about. Reopen your fontanella. The corpus callosum? callosum? Corpus callosum is just below there, mm. okay? Got 5%. Okay. Close that. Yeah, close. Yeah. So, if you do this in bed every morning, what are you doing to your brain? Mm, massaging it. You're cleaning the brain. Cleaning it. You're cleaning the brain. And Clean then the brain. you drink 40 ounces of water, or, or 25 to 40 ounces of water, mm. the first hour you wake up, mm. and what are you doing to your blood? Everything you actually that don't drinks. have enough blood to have the blood pressure to move the blood around because by dehydration is low blood pressure because you exactly. don't have enough fluid in the pump. Exactly. So Most if you get in the habit of doing this, you're going to be sharper mm. than the average guy mm. or girl. First thing. First thing, first thing in the morning, you're going to step out of your bedroom ready. <laughs> okay? So like I said, I have all this written down. I'm going to email you the whole sequence. And this should become a habit. The whole mm. thing takes eight minutes. Fabulous. From beginning to end. If you can't take eight minutes for yourself, mm. you know, I, I can't be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> now you're friend. Agreed.